History does not repeat itself, but it sure as shit rhymes. I've said this quote ad nauseum many times on this channel. And today is no exception. Because you see, my friends, there's a bit of a fight going on. An actual fight in development. Now, just who is it that's going to be combating who? Well, it's, of course, Ethan Ralph going up against Andy Worski. Now, this isn't the first time Andy Worski has been challenged to a real-life fight. Three and a half, close to four years ago in October, Andy Worski was set to fight Tonkasaw in Knoxville, Tennessee in January of 2019. Now, from October of 2018 to January of 2019, myself and countless others got to bore witness to the saga that was the Knoxville no-show fight. Which there was a bit of a back and forth between Tonkasaw and Andy Worski. Andy Worski was really putting in the effort to get into shape, getting himself ready for the fight. While Tonkasaw was doing absolutely nothing at all. But Tonkasaw said he was getting into shape. Tonkasaw did say on more than one occasion that he was getting ready to beat the ever-living shit out of Andy Worski. But of course, the week before the fight, it comes out that uh, Tonkasaw fucked up on the paperwork. As a result, Tonkasaw was not allowed to fight in Knoxville. There we go, making Andy Worski the winner by default. Now, with that in mind, what is going to happen in regards to this Ethan Ralph and Andy Worski boxing match? Well, Ethan Ralph is no stranger to issuing fights to anyone he disagrees with on the internet. He's challenged people like Zoom and Baked Alaska and even PPP two years back to fight him IRL. Of course, when PPP accepted the challenge, Ethan Ralph's immediate response was to just fucking cower and run away. So I'm not really holding out hope that Ethan Ralph is actually going to be a man of his word and actually fight Andy Worski. But at the same time, he did say he was going to go to Portugal to teach Andy Worski a lesson, and lo and behold, Ethan Ralph actually went to Portugal. Now, granted, it, it ended in complete and total disaster for Ethan Ralph with the Portugal trip. But he still went to Portugal, as he said he would. So if Ethan Ralph can be a man of his word and say he's going to go to a different country to own his former co-host and little internet friend, then perhaps there's a chance that Ethan Ralph will be a man of his word and actually prepare and show up for this big old boxing match between himself and Andy Worski? I don't know. We're just going to have to see what happens. Now, even though I firmly believe that this is going to be a no-show fight once again, I'm still holding out on hope that maybe, just maybe, this will happen. I mean, for God's sakes, who wouldn't want to see Ethan Ralph get his fucking head caved in? I sure as shit would. I know many of you would love to see Ethan Ralph get his ass kicked. Live. <laughs> I mean, his face is already fucked up as a result of the Portugal disaster. So who knows what's going to happen now? Will Ralph completely go blind? Will Ralph continue to look more deformed? I don't know. There's only one way to find out. We're just going to have to wait and see what happens next. Regardless, I am very much excited to see where this crazy train goes. Until then, catch you guys in the next video.